So this is the second time I've used uh, this large um, grub and uh, not had even a single hit in this creek. So that's that for those guys. So let's change up the lure. That was the intent of uh, using the swivel. All right. <clears throat> let's try, oh, I don't know. Let's try one of these big ones. Not had very good luck with them, but uh, might as well give them a try, right? Give it the best chance of success. We'll put a crappy nibble on there or two. It's a large hook for the fish we've got here in the creek. Uh, there are fish big enough to take this, but not as many as uh, the smaller fish. But um, yeah, we'll give it a try, right? No nibbles at all. I honestly think it's too big. So this is the second time I've used uh, this large um, grub and uh, not had even a single hit in this creek. So that's that for those guys. We'll have to use them in a larger pond or a larger creek somewhere. Almost right away, changing the size of the lure, and I get a strike. This time I'm using a uh, VNC, I think it's called a squiggle tail or curly, I think curly tail. There he is. Oh, I missed it. Darn it. Missed him. I think they're hitting the tail of the curly tail and not actually up where the hook is. So unlike the trout magnets, which have a shorter tail, I'm missing the, I'm missing them. I think, I don't know. There was another hit. All right, so let's go back to the trout magnet. <clears throat> 